Hi, welcome to my workshop. My name is Darren. Today we're going to do a quick 3D prints in the workshop video and have a look at a couple of items that might be of some help to you around the shop. Alright, stick around, let's have a look. These are cable organisers. I'll put a link to them in the description below. I downloaded them from Thingiverse. They print in one piece but they're hinged which is really cool. Um, the idea being that uh, you screw these to your surface like that, a little screw through there, pass your cable through or drop your cable in and it clicks shut like so and stays in place. And this is what the cable organisers look like in use. So I've got a cable run through here, you can see quite easily. I can lift it up, put another cable in there if I want to and then snap it shut. They're pretty neat. I recently bought this Tactix Heavy Duty Utility Cabinet with eight removable organisers. It's pretty good actually, I'm pretty happy with it. It's lockable, uh, there's plenty of little boxes in it. Well, let's have a look at it, because it's right there. So, there it is. Uh, like I say, it's lockable, there's a lock here. Can you see that on the camera? You can, yeah. So there's a lock here for locking these drawers, and there's another lock down there for locking this little drawer. This drawer comes empty, I'll just put these little pieces in um, because I think they'll work well, or they are working well for organising some extra bits, they fit nicely. But they're actually out of some of my other tactics drawers, so what I'm going to do is print some new ones up and replace those and put the, those ones back in their original containers. Now, that said, I've already done a little print on one of the others. Alright, so in this one here, they come with a lot of these small little tubs, which are great for a small amount of things, but there weren't enough of these longer pieces or longer tubs for what I really needed. So I printed my own, and they fit really well. They've got the little I wonder if I can show this on camera without spilling it out. Can you see that? Got the little recess underneath which fits on those little squares in the box to hold them in place. You can perhaps see those squares better now that I've lifted those out of the way. So yeah, just made my own little one. So I'll pop that up on Thingiverse in case anybody else wants to print one out. Next up, I've got this equal space divider to show you made in several parts, uh, held together with they're basically plastic rivets that you put a bit of glue in there to hold it all together. So you can expand it out to however you far apart you want it. Mark out your uh, divisions. Divide something up equally. Let me grab a piece of wood that's wide enough to warrant this. So if I want to divide this into three pieces, for example, I could align this edge and this edge here with the edges of the wood. And these would be the two cuts I would need to make to have one, two, three pieces of wood. And of course you can print out as many of the pieces as you want and just keep adding to it. And this one's called the expandable equal space divider, so very similar indeed. Uh, this one screws together, that's probably the main difference. It's smaller, more compact, and to be honest, it feels a little bit more rigid. I think, I, I prefer this one, to be honest, but that's just my personal preference. So again, same sort of deal. I've made some extra pieces for this one, so this will go longer. So I, I could effectively divide this one up into four pieces by making three cuts at those points. So there you go. We've got the expandable equal space divider that screws together and the equal space divider that glues together. The equal space divider is bigger so if you were to add some more bits on you could do wider pieces of wood but it won't compact up as much as this one. Okay, hopefully those items will be of some help to you around the workshop. I will put links to them in the description below. 
Have a great day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.